Hello and or argument fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to find evil in three minutes or less. Yes, it can be done. Let's go over to the tail of the tape. Over here I've got G-Cape opened up. I've picked my target. I've set my target destination. I pick my module source and my module destination. Notice I'm only pulling the MFT and I'm only running MFT ECMD against it. Let's knock this off. We're doing this in real time. Real time. Command line opens and we've got Cape running. And Cape is going to chug away. Essentially what's happening is it's going in and it's grabbing the MFT I asked it to grab. And I might add it's grabbing a live MFT. So it is unlocking the MFT and it's grabbing the entire uh, MFT. Now on many computers this MFT is going to be very very sizable. In fact uh, I believe in the case of the MFT that it's pulling here, we're talking about somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 550,000 entries. So that, that's a sizable MFT. You're, I mean, that's how big it's going to be. It's going to be somewhere uh, around five or 600 megabytes in size. Once we have that, we're going to pull that into Timeline Explorer and parse it. Now, again, we're running in real time. We're seeing the, the, the cursor is blinking. Things are happening. We don't have, we have 0% here because it was, the file was deferred while Cape was trying to unlock it. 60 seconds later, we have it pulled out and it's unlocked. So let's close, uh, let's close Cape. And let's open up Timeline Explorer. And we're going to point it at the MFT that we just collected. We're going to open that up. And of course, it's going to take some time to open it up because well, it's very sizable. So, and, and once we open it up, you're going to see how big it is. And, and actually, while it's loading, why don't we just go to uh, the desktop and have a look at how big this is. So we're going to go to our destination file, and there's our MFT. Oh, 204 megabytes. Not very big at all. So Timeline Explorer is ripping it apart. It's parsing it out. It's pulling it in, putting it into numbered rows so that we can get in some visibility. 551,000 lines. All I'm consider, all I care about is the parent path. I want to see prefetch files. So I'm going to sort on prefetch. Now we just have prefetch. We have that down to 313 lines. Prefetch only showing what has run. Now I'm going to further sort this into evil because that's what I'm looking for. Find evil.exe running in the prefetch. There's the dates and times. Finding evil, three minutes or less. So in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Three Minutes Max.